Hey everybody, Ray here. I had a viewer ask me several questions about hanging this drawer underneath this desk that I made. Uh, in my case, I put my keyboard on it. And it was kind of difficult to explain in the comments section of the YouTube video. So I promised her that I would make a video and I'm going to make it and share that today. It's all about how to hang this drawer. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can hang the drawer under the desk here. And both of them are actually pretty darn easy. So stick around. I'll show you how I do that. And don't forget, hit that like button if you enjoy this video. I'd appreciate it. first thing you need to figure out is just how wide and deep does this drawer need to be. Now, in my case, this keyboard was 32 inches wide and it's about eight and a half inches deep. So I made my board 33 inches wide and it's a one by 12. It's just a plain old stock common lumber one by 12 pine. Just get a piece that's not warped or twisted. So this is 33 inches wide and it's a 1 by 12 so it's 11 and a half inches deep. The next thing you want to make sure is that <clears throat> you get glides that will allow you to bring your drawer out as far as you need to bring it. So in my case I got 16 inch drawer glides, the extension drawer glides. I just picked them up at Home Depot. Now you only have to figure how far down does it need to be from underneath the desk? Now my desk has a little lip here, which I'll show you when I get underneath. So you have to make sure that you have enough room between the bottom of the lip and the top of the keyboard here. I've got about an inch space for that to easily slide back and forth. So those are kind of the dimensions that you need to start out with. Now the next key measurement here is whatever size you decide to make your drawer wide, is it actually going to fit underneath the desk? If you have a desk like mine that has two drawers in it, you've got a confined amount of space in there. And it doesn't matter if you have two sets of drawers or legs, you're still going to have a confined amount of space widthwise that you can use for a drawer. So in my case, I made my panel here that it sits on that the keyboard sits on is 33 inches wide. And then you've got another inch in width because of the drawer glides on each side. They each take a half an inch. So now you're up to 34 inches. Then underneath this desk, and I'll show you this in a minute, I mount this with a one by six up into the desk. And the one by six sits beside the unit itself. So now you've got another inch and a half. You probably ought to allow two inches and so now you're up to 36 inches that you need in width between here to be able to mount a 33 inch drawer. So take all of those measurements into consideration. So this is the view from underneath the desk. Here's the panel that the keyboard sits on right here and it slides out through the extensions that way. Now what I've done is on the other side of this board, and you can't see it, and because I've got the drawers against it now, I can't take it out to show you. But what I've done is put pocket holes up here, three pocket holes that attach this to the bottom of the desk. So that's one way to attach this is with pocket holes. Now the viewer had asked, well, what if I wanted to mount it with L brackets? Because not everybody has a pocket hole jig and can put pocket holes into wood. Well, the answer to that is, yeah, you sure could. So here would be a, an L bracket would look something like this. And then you would just attach that L bracket to the side panel here. You'd have to make sure there was enough clearance that it didn't interfere with your drawer. But in my case, you can see that that's just fine. And maybe put one on the back and put one on the front. And that would hold this side piece that you attach your drawer glides to just fine. If you use the extension drawer glides like I have here, then on the outside you'll have these pieces that slide back 
and then slide back even further as this telescopes out and extends. Then you have the inner piece, which is the piece that will actually attach to the drawer, the side of the drawer that you're going to pull in and out. These pieces here will attach to the upright board that is mounted to the bottom of the desk. So to work with this, there's a little black lever under here, and you just pull that, depends on which side you're on. You either squeeze that up or squeeze it down, and it'll allow you to take the telescoping part of the extension drawer off. Now this would be the front of the drawer, so that's where you would want the front of your drawer glide to be. So you would just mount the drawer glide. I mounted it with two screws. I didn't have a lot of weight on here, so two screws is just fine. I mounted that inside part of the door glide to my shelf itself. Now, what you'll want to do next is you'll want to go ahead and build this unit to look like what it's going to look like when it's actually mounted under the desk. So what I mean by that is, in my case, I have a one by six under the desk. This just happens to be a one by eight. I don't have a one by six piece of scrap that I can show you. But essentially what you want to do is mount this piece then to the bottom of whatever size board it is that you're going to mount under your desk. Then you can slide this in there and that's what your whole unit looks like. So you'll do that on this side and you'll do it on the other side as well. So it's, it's like you've already built the drawer that's gonna come in and out and now you're just gonna fit it up under the desk. Now the reason I like to do it this way is you need to get pretty exact with your measurements in terms of the width of this board and where the inside part of the drawer track goes into the outside part. And it's a little finicky. If you get it too wide or too narrow, the drawer isn't going to work right. But if you go ahead and mount this to the board that you're gonna mount up under your desk, and then you hold that up there as one unit, you can mark on each side of that board and on the front of the mounting board that goes under the desk exactly where this needs to be. Now for this next step, it might be actually better if you have two people. And what you're going to want to do is hold the drawer up under the desk. And you want to make sure in the front it's back as far as you want it to be from the front of the desk. And then you'll know that that's where the edge of your drawer glides have to be. So you want to make sure you're even going this way. Then what you can do is continue to hold that up there. And now you're at a point where you can come in with a pencil and draw a line where you need this board to be. So you know where the side needs to be, and I'm gonna move this out of the way for now. You know where the side needs to be because you've got a mark right here. And then you know where the front needs to be. That's how far back you want it. So now you know exactly where you need to mount these boards. Now once you have that straightened out, then you can come back and pocket hole screw it up there or then you would attach your brackets that would hold that up there and let me give you a little tip as to how to do those brackets now if you're going to mount this with l brackets then let's pretend that this is where your drawer glide is so when we were looking at that side this is that's how it would be the drawer glide is on the bottom now you're going to want to mount those l brackets on the top like this. So what you'll want to do, you want to make sure that that's kind of flat to the bit desk when you're going to mount it. So turn your board upside down and then go ahead while it's in that position and go ahead and mount your L brackets this way. Then you know when you turn it back over to this side that the L brackets are going to be flat and flush with where the top of your side piece meets the desk. 
Well, that's about it. Actually, it's a pretty simple and easy project. It doesn't take too long to do, and it works just great. Just be careful that you get your dimensions correct and make sure that you've got enough room from the bottom of your desk to the top of the platform here so whatever you want to fit on there will slide under your desk easily and it should work just fine for you. The hardest part is holding it up underneath to get those marks so it fits so nicely. And you can do it by yourself. I did it by myself wedging some boards under there, but it's a whole lot easier if you have two people so one person can hold it and then the other person can mark. And if you get those marks on there, everything ought to work great. Hey, I hope this was helpful. If it was, don't forget, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up and you might want to subscribe for more videos like this. And thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.